In this video, I want to go over the vowel count problem on Code Wars. And what it wants you to do is it's going to pass us a sentence, and we need to determine or return how many vowels are in the sentence that it gives us. Now, for this kata, it's going to only uh, include A, E, I, O, and U for the vowels. It's going to exclude Y. So if we look at a example down here, the sentence would be A, E, I, O, U, and we would return the integer 5. Y, on the other hand, since it's excluded from the vowels, would return zero. Now, what we want to do is, first of all, we are going to create a variable called vowel count, or number of vowels. And what it's going to do is it's just going to keep track of the number of vowels in our sentence. So num vowels. We're going to set that equal to zero. Next, we're going to create a string called vowels. And this is just going to be a string that holds all the vowels, A, E, I, O, and U. And the reason we're doing this is so that we know what the vowels are, so we can check from our sentence. So the next thing we need to do is we need to iterate through our, out our sentence. And for each letter in our sentence, we need to check to see if it's in our vowels string. And we can do that with a for loop. So for X, and we're just going to say sentence, because that's what we're iterating through. And then we're just going to see very simply, if x, or the current letter in question, is in our uh, vowels. If that is the case, that means that we have hit a vowel, or we are currently on a vowel. We'll just say num of vowels plus equals 1, or we'll just add 1 to the number of vowels. After we've iterated throughout the entire sentence, and we've checked every single letter to see if it's a vowel, we return the number of vowels. Turn num vowels. And if we test this, uh, 5 pass. And if we attempt it, uh, 105 pass. So that is the vowel count problem on Code Wars. It is a 7KYU, and we will continue to uh, do harder ones in the future. If you found any value from this or you learned anything, I would appreciate it if you liked commented, and subscribed, and I will see you guys in future tutorials.